let's start with selenium history and uh, we will go forward and see how we can implement that so selenium is started at 2004 uh, by jason and he was from thoughtworks so he basically built core module of selenium that is called javascript test runner and uh, just to he was working on some testing of the time and expenses application so he built that way that application and uh, later that particular core is called basically a selenium core so core had a few limitation like same origin policy same origin policy is basically if you are running uh, two different project with the same url and same port at that time you get same origin policy so uh, the another guy paul hammond from thoughtworks again who came up with the solution and uh, that is called basically selenium rc remote control so in remote control basically we had two things client and server so client basically injects javascript code to the browser and then browser basically runs that particular code and that way they have implemented they, they, they have automated the project so that one is called selenium rc which we are not using now and around 2004 another guy simon who basically who is also from the thoughtworks right he was working on the another web testing tool that is named as web driver so which basically did not rely on javascript so and uh, it it's not just a client for each browser also higher level api integration in that and that web driver is merged with the uh, actual core and that basically we, we are saying that that is selenium 2 which is basically we are using now so this is about the selenium 1 selenium 2 and now we are using selenium 3 and then we have also selenium 4 next thing is setting up about the eclipse project and execute code so let's do this one project setup and then we will come back here and we'll see the uh, web elements and locator what what is web elements and how we locate that particular thing so let's first set up the project and then we will come back here and see about the HTML code and how we use these things, right? So for the automation, we should have uh, HTML knowledge, at, at least HTML knowledge. Okay. So let's see first installation part and then we'll come back to this one. So here uh, we have project so what we will do we will create a new project and uh, let me open selenium website so we have selenium dev so you can write here selenium dev and then you will see the url that is selenium.dev so this is the official website and uh, in this website you will see almost all the things that is available so what we will do we can click here on download and then you can see here we have selenium grid internet explorer browser selenium client so basically we have to focus here on selenium clients so suppose if you are using dotnet or c sharp language in that case you can download this one if you are using ruby then you can download this one java python javascript so we have available for all the different different versions a stable version is 3.14 and released candidate version is 4.0.0. So most mostly we, we are using a stable version only and for the Java. So now here, if you will see, if I'm clicking here, <coughs> what happens? We can create Selenium project in two ways. One way is I can download all the jar files, which is available from here. And then we can use in our Java project and then we can create on that, right? But most of the time, this particular thing we are not doing. What we do is we create Maven project and using Maven, we do these things. 
but still i just wanted to explain you how you can use this one right so we, what we will do we will download it now download is done we can extract it extract here and then this is our files so what we will do we will go here and create a project new and then java project. simple that we are doing right we can say uh, demo selenium one okay. demo selenium with jar okay so now you click next finish so what it is saying module configure okay, don't create doesn't matter hardly right we have now simple project created let's create here one java file and we can name it we can add package com.test and here we can say test main method okay so now here we have just created one java file let's write here sys out and then we can see what is the output we are getting now right so it's working fine now how we will use this jar file so for that what we do we create here one folder inside it go and select the folder and add folder name as lib you can write any name but most of the time we use lib only lib for library and then go here and copy this one the first one without source copy this file and paste it here right click and then paste so that jar file will be available here similarly go again lib folders libs folder and copy this copy all files go here and then right click paste it so now we have pasted all the jar files that is available right select all the jar files right click and then go to build path and then click on add to build path okay so now we have used this file and then we are now ready to write selenium code okay so what we will do next is we can simply delete this code and then write here web driver equal to new chrome driver this is the first line that you have to write and just move your cursor here import web driver import chrome driver okay and then next line you can write driver dot get and here you can write the any url so let's say i am writing here http column slash slash www dot google dot save it and then run it so now since here you can see we have we are using here three dot one four right this is the client combined that means the selenium that we are using right now is three dot one four so before three dot one we don't need to add anything if you will write this code it will work fine but right now what happens after three three version they have made changes and then your program will not work right now since it is saying that you have to specify chrome driver right chrome driver is fine but you have to specify executable chrome driver so you will get something like this output and then what you can do next is you can copy this one right you can say set executable must set the web driver dot chrome driver system property so you have to write one line before going to use this one so you have to write system dot set properties set property right you have to use set property and then put this one whatever thing you are seeing here just put it here and then go to the end of this line and you will see download the file from here so you can open this url this is only one time activity that you have to do right and then paste it here now before going to use this one right and i'll explain this one what you have to do this this thing this is the chrome basically driver version so first you have to go to your browser click on three dot 
go to the help and click on about google chrome okay now you will see here what is the version of your chrome so here i can see this is 93.45 right so let's go here and search 93.45 so i can see here right 93.457745 this is so i'll take the latest one right 93.0.45 similarly it may possible that your chrome browser is not updated but you have to make sure that this version at least this should match okay so i am just clicking on it and then i'll download the chrome driver basically yes and here you can see if you are using mac operating system you can download this one for linux and then this is for window it doesn't matter where you are using 32 bit or 64 bit you can download this one click here and then it will say okay okay so i'll just download it right here we have and then i'll extract it yes right so now this file is basically we have this chrome drive right i'll just copy the path from here and open our project and then instead of null you can add double quote and paste it complete path then slash slash and again go to the folder and copy the name from here copy it and then i will paste it again and dot dot exe since this is executable file and then add semicolon so you can see this particular thing you have to write right after two two version you have to set the property else your selenium will not work what you have to do you can just copy this one from here download the driver and then put it here now let's try to run and see whether it is working or not yeah you can see google chrome is open now right if i will write any other browser or any other um, path then it will work that way it will open that one also save it and then write it. it is opening that one so you will see here we chrome is being controlled by automated test software